Hey, I'm Tom. Public relations officer, can't be council. Must be the new guys. They'll take up to the chamber, show you how we get things done around here. Thanks, follow me. I'm Oliver from Dartford Grammar School and I'm the DYC member. Hello, I'm Amelia and I come from Dartford Technology College and I'm the newest DYC member. I've been expecting you. I'm Chris, um, I'm from the Leeds Technology Academy and I'm a DYC member. I'm from Wilmington Grammar School for Girls and I'm a member of the DYC. I think the benefits are that you can really help your fellow young people in the Dartford area. You can make an impact on your local community and you can um, influence important decisions that make Dartford a better place. So we get to work on a lot of different projects. You meet many friends from, dip, from other schools and you get to socialise with other people and everyone's very different. Perks of being on Dove Duke Council are um, I get a 10% uh, discount card for the cafe in the park and I get to make a difference around Dartford. All the stuff that you do in DYC goes on your CV. You get to go on trips like the residential that we do in February and you get 10% off in the cafe. I don't think there really are any disadvantages. Um, some people might say that we work too hard but I think it's fairly reasonable. The disadvantages of being on the DYC are that we just work so hard all the time, it's just non-stop action. The fact that we only meet up once a month, therefore less work is done. My favourite things about DYC are the trips that we go on, such as residentials to be water, and you get to stay for the weekend, do more loads of work, you get more work done as you're there for the whole weekend. And we did things like the deaf awareness and got to know sign language, which was really fun and really different. I get to interact with a lot of people from my own age group. Um, we get to really show off that not all um, young people in the Dartford area are as bad as the media like to make out that we are and I think that's a really good positive thing we can do. Before I leave DYC I'd like to uh, make it so that maybe we uh, could do more at one time. I'd like to change the fact that we only meet up once a month and meet up more times in a month so we can get more I've done and organise more things. I'd like to make more friends and also maybe make the Freedom Pass available to all the students. I think before I leave DYC, I'd quite like to see the age limit of the Kent Freedom Pass perhaps raised to 18 and if possible some of the costs lowered because I've heard that people think it's quite 
expensive, but personally, I wouldn't know as I don't use public transport. I have a chauffeur. Joking aside, hearing the Dunford Youth Council meetings is not just a social gathering. It offers young people the opportunity to use their voices. Voices which will be heard and taken seriously. Voices which get things done. Voices which every young person should have. The Ken Freedom Pass, for example, is something that the Dartford Youth Council has campaigned for tirelessly for a number of years. Every year, we hold a stall at Dartford Festival and all the proceeds go to the Mayor's charity. I think the work's fantastic. I'm particularly proud of the work you've done with the uh, bus passes, uh, the uh, hate crime work that we're doing there. Um, the, what, what, your involvement within the Dark Festival and support for the Mayor. Councillor Joe McKay has expressed great interest in us and he says that personally he will take whatever we say seriously. We're open to all people as well. It doesn't matter about your race, beliefs, gender or school. The only two criteria are that you live, work or go to school in Dartford and that you're between the ages of year 8 and year 14, technically. So come join in. Get in touch with your school's youth council organiser or the organiser of your youth group. Come see what the fuss is about. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care.